Orchard Park, New York, coming to you live. Thanks for joining us. Well, we've had quite a year so far with some incredible individual performances, and we're just about ready to get this one started as the Detroit Lions come into town to face the Buffalo Bills. I'm Al Michaels with my partner John Madden here to bring you today's game. Well, we definitely have one heck of a game coming up. One reason is because we get to see this guy throw the football. He's got all the tools that you look for in a quarterback. And it doesn't hurt that he has some great receivers to throw to. The Bills have a few receivers that he likes to throw to. And here's one of them. There's no question these two have developed that chemistry. And he's always finding an open spot in the defense to give his quarterback a target to hit. It wouldn't be surprising to see them hook up a few times in this one. This is what you hate to see as a visitor coming in here. A team that's focused and really ready to play. And let's go to the field for the coin toss. You have called heads. Is that correct? <coughs> Buffalo has won the toss and choose to receive. Good luck, man. They're lined up and ready for the kickoff, so let's go to the field for the start of the action. Hansen is just about ready to kick this one away. He gets the kick away. Number 21 is heading upfield. The Bills take over on offense at the 27-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 27. Four-man front this time. Man in motion. Henry gets the toss. Puts on the jerk. Just won't go down. He's to the 40. Across midfield. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown. Buffalo. So they get in on the ground. Yeah. He knew where he wanted to go. And he got there. on its way the point after is good so that drive took only a few ticks off the clock yet still got them into the end zone here we are talking about what they need to do on offense and boom they go the distance on their very first play <laughs> i guess it's safe to say that they don't need our advice he sends this one toward the end zone howard feels it cleanly this is where you want to be able to respond. You also don't want to pin because it's only the first quarter. Well, listen, is there an update? I caught up with Coach Williams to get his pregame thoughts. He told me that he's looking to force the other team to be one-dimensional. He knows his opponent is at its best when it can be well-balanced. We'll have to see if his strategy can get him away now. Thanks for that report, Melissa. The pass is batted the way. He tried to guide it in there, but it didn't work. Second and ten. They'll go with a pass. Looking downfield. Looking for a receiver in the middle. Fletcher makes the play at the 31 yard line. Third and one coming up on this play. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up for Johnson with the toss. Breaks the tackle. Number 23 stops him at the 39. He really covered some good ground there. And here's a guy with great speed who can pick up the first and keep the ball moving downfield. It's first and ten. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Slips the tackle. And he's brought down at the 43-yard line. And he picks up about four. It's second down and six to go. He's looking to pass. Throws over to his right. Crowell, the intended receiver. 
The defense hurried that throw. He really had to rush that throw. That was a situation where the defensive line made the job easy for the defensive back. Third and six. Two extra defensive backs. The defense is in the dime. Stewart looking for a seam. And he's tackled at the 46. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. Rodgers sets up, waiting for the punt. For a touchdown in the last possession. And let's see about a repeat performance on this drive. Right, first and ten. Set. Cut. Back to pass. Looking downfield. Rolling out to his right. Passes it. Price couldn't make the catch. Bledsoe overthrows the intended receiver. Or right, maybe he got held up in the line because their timing was really off on that pass. Right, second and ten. Set. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Reed brings in motion with the toss. Ellis created problems in the backfield on that play. And there's a flag on the play. Face mask on the defense, number 94. Well, there's an injury on the play, and we'll go to the sideline as soon as we get the information. <laughs> it's third down and five to go. Stepping up, he's looking. Bledsoe, throw, pick off. First and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. Drops back. Harrington looking for something on the right. And the defender brings him down at the 8-yard line. He throws a perfect strike. That was one heck of a throw. You could see him set up for the pass, then boom, it was gone. <laughs> Melissa, any news from down there? Good. I spoke to the team doctor and he indicated that it's the type of injury that will take some time to heal. They're hopeful that he won't be out long, but his return is done. Thanks, Melissa. Well, that's good news because on the replay, it looked a lot more serious than that. They'll probably miss the rest of the game. Everybody up on the line, using motion. Searching for a seat. And he stopped at the one-yard line. Not much on that play. Yeah, you talk about a defensive line winning the battle, and this is what you mean. The running back gets to the line, and there's nowhere to go after that. Let's check in quickly with Melissa. It's very quiet here on the sidelines, Al, as we've just learned that it is indeed a very severe arm injury. It looks like he'll be out for the rest of the season. Thanks for the update. Well, he really got hit on that play. Breaks the tackle. That was an almost perfect run in that type of situation. He just kept his legs churning and moving on that one. Nobody was going to keep him from scoring. The kick is up. 
The point after is good. And so they didn't have very far to go and were able to take advantage of that and get the touchdown. Hey, that's just a great job by the offense. They see the defense on their heels, defend in such a short field, and they go right at him for the score. He kicks it off. Interception brought the last drive to an abrupt end. They'll do a better job, I think, of protecting the ball this time around. Right. It's first and ten. Set. Cut. He's looking to pass. Looking for an option. Stepping up. Bledsoe with the throw. He hits his receiver. Price went up and got that ball, catching it for the first down. You know, a lot of these guys play basketball. They still play basketball. And you can really see why when you see him jump down high. Right. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 40. The backs are lined up in an eye. Number 38 sees the handoff. That run won't move them far. The lineman just failed to open up any holes to run through or give them room to work with. Right. Nine yards to go. Looking to pass. Bledsoe passes it right. Nice action. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 47. Hmm. Ball at midfield. Four-man front this time. They'll go with a pass. Steps up into the pocket. Knocked away. Rodgers knocked it down. You know, the quarterback needs to put that ball in a position where the defender can't get to it. That didn't happen there. Right. So it's second and ten. Set. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up the Tosses it back. Lays into him with a stiff arm. The 30. Claiborne takes him down at the 24. Number 38 showed great acceleration on that run. Throws him ahead for a big game. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's good running out there. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Fifth play of this drive. Using motion. Looking for an opening. He'll test the right side, and it looks like they'll mark it at the 12. He was able to pick up good yardage on that play. When you have a back who can pick up big chunks of yardage on his carry, it forces the defense to bring another man up to the line of scrimmage to try and control him. Right. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on the 12-yard line. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Bledsoe with the pass. And he's tackled at the seven-yard line. Gain of four. They need five. Four-man front this time. Using motion with the carry. Nice move. And he's tackled at the six-yard line. He's on his way to reaching the century mark today. About four to go. Ball on the six-yard line. They'll go with a pass. Crosses it right. Quick connection for the score. And that's a deal where the quarterback saw his opportunity, and he wasn't going to let it get away. He threw it in there in a hurry.
gets it. Cut. And it's up. And he tacks on the extra point. And the coaching staff is happy after that drive. Touchdowns against this defense aren't easy to come by. Hey, as an offensive coach in this league, you're always making adjustments. And hopefully you can get the defense on its heels and get it in there for the touchdown. Good job by these guys. He sends it off. The returner takes the ball and hits the field. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well in their last possession on their way to the end zone. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 21. Melissa's trying to get us some information on the injury. The defense came up with that one. You know, the ball carrier's number one job, even before getting yardage, is to protect the football. So the coach looks a lot smarter after getting the play reversed in his team's favor. It didn't hurt that the official had some great replays to look at. They made it easy to overrule. <laughs> Melissa, what have you heard on the sidelines about that injury? The trainer wasn't able to give me much information on the injury, Al. He doesn't think that it's anything too serious, but they want to be sure before sending it back out of the field. Thanks, Melissa. That's very good news. And this pass is completed. Harris with the tackle at the 28. He tried the screen there, but he couldn't find much room to run. Screen passes are good options when you want to try and fool the defense or there's nothing open downfield. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Number 38 on the call. Looking to turn it upfield. And he's brought down at the 18-yard line. He did a nice job on that run. And he picks up the first down. And when you have an offense that can keep it on the ground and pick up six, seven, or eight yards, you really open up the defense. The team's eyes look sides, and we'll start the second quarter. It's first and ten. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Looking to pass. Steps up. Bledsoe throws it over to his right. Centers in motion on the run. And he's brought down at the four. They keep it on the ground. Yeah, that's an important part of this team's offense. Hey, Melissa, what's up? The mood is very somber down here on the sidelines, Al. He left the field in a great deal of pain, and it appears that this injury could bring his season to an end. Thanks, Melissa. Well, he really took a blow. He got off the field very slowly. Looking downfield, and he makes the grab. Just about a three-yard game. Third down now, and goal to go. Ball a half yard away. The defense is snapping the line of scrimmage. Loses the defender. He just got it across the goal line. Yep, he just lowered his shoulders and got the short yardage that they need.
your special teams or defense that sets you up with great field position, your job as an offense is to take advantage of it. And they did it right there. He gets the kick away. Detroit needs two scores to get back into this one. So we have first and ten here. Ball on their own 21. Harrington sets up. Staley looking to turn it up to him. Fletcher brought him down for his third tackle. Four yard gain on the play. Brings him down at the 37. For a gain of 12 yards. We'll go back to the play on the field. Right. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 37. Staley gets the toss. Chilman makes the tackle at the 42. Coaches will generally try to get an even mix of run and pass plays out there. Basically, Continuity will add effectiveness to both. A little over four to go. He tucks it away. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 46. And after that carry, the defense will have to very much respect the run if they don't want to see that happen again and again. The guy seems to get stronger every time he touches the ball. room off tackle and he's tackled at the 45 yard line nice pursuit on that play yeah this is just great defense they pursue the ball follow the play as it develops and they never let the ball carrier get to the outside Rodgers is back to receive this kick Rodgers is already looking upfield. They moved the ball very effectively on that last drive, which ended in a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sidelines, trying obviously to make some corrections, and let's see if they can stop this time. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 37. Set. Using motion. He's going to throw. Stepping up, Bledsoe passes to his left. Price was the intended target on that pass offense, and he's only able to hang on to that one. I think he just took his eyes off that one. Right. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Set Number 38, searching for a scene. A little juke step. Gain of four. Third and six coming up. Bledsoe gets set. Steps up. Surveying the field. Passes left. He hits his receiver. 
Green brings him down at the 48 yard line. So that tackle was his third. It's first and 10. Bledsoe sees something in the defense. Drops back. He surveys the field. It's broken up. The quarterback was hit just as he was releasing the pass. I'm not sure how they got through, but the defense really wanted the quarterback. Right, second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 48. Set. Back to pass. Looking for an option. Throwing. Right to the defender. Well, it appears he's injured. He's getting off the field okay, so we'll have to wait to find out what we can from Melissa in just a moment. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 27. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. And he gets the toss. And the defender brings him down. 33. And below you can see how these two teams have done in the turnover battle. They line up in the eye formation. Back to pass with the pass. And the catch is made. Terrific athleticism there. Leaping up, catching the pass. This receiver has great body control. It doesn't seem to matter where it's thrown. He always seems to come up with it. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 48. Somebody get over there. Harry with split pass. Looking downfield. Throw it. Batted down. Great play by the man. One thing remains constant. No matter what kind of quarterback you are, rushing your throws is going to end up in incompletion or worse. Right. It's second down and 10 to go. The backs are lined up in an eye. Clements makes the play at the 45. He could be seeing more carries after that game. If the defense is looking to force these guys out of their game plan, they're going to need to attack the ball carry and punish him every time. So they're almost within their kicker's range. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. to his right and he finds the open man complete took number 82 for a gain of 16 yards they might go with the run here to keep the defense honest besides they have timeouts to use so they'll want to make the most of them so they have first and 10 here using motion If they don't get the first. So if no one's there, we should just tuck the ball and slide when he has to. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Looking downfield. Throws over to his right. He got his hand in there to knock it down. You know, he did what you taught to do. That's take away the ability for the receiver to catch the ball. He can't catch it when you knock it down. is heading onto the field for this field goal attempt. The kick 
is up. It's good. The kick is good. Number four to kick off. Number 21 and number 31. He sends this one toward the end zone. Rodgers is looking for a nice return. The Bills take over on offense at the 23-yard line. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 23. Set. Only one man back. Looking to pass. Throwing left. He hits his receiver. So that play goes for about six. The defense can't afford to take too many gambles. They're going for a pick when they should just try and knock it down. One mistake can lead to a big play for the offense. Just over a minute still to go. Looking downfield. Lexo throws left. their lead before halftime. First and ten. Drops back. He's looking. Stepping up. Throws it. He finds his man. Loses one tackle. And it looks like this one will be spotted at the 34-yard line. He throws a perfect pass to the receiver. The receiver has some room to work on that pass. He made the catch and looked for some extra yardage after the reception. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. With the throw, Moles couldn't make the catch. So he can't bring him in. I'm not sure why he brought that one. Quarterback delivered the right to him. We're already ahead. I don't see him taking too many chances. We'll try and run the clock down so he can get a field goal as a half end. Dropping back, looking for a receiver. Passing to his left. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 15. Bledsoe has now thrown for over 100 yards after completing that pass. It's first and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Looking to pass, looking for a receiver. With the throw, number 38 was the intended target, so he can't come up with it. Nothing is more disheartening to a quarterback than a drop pass. One thing the defense can't do here is give him too much time to throw. They might want to bring a blitz, but watch out for the halfback on an outlet. If they forget about him, then we'll be seeing him in the end zone. He's looking to pass. Looking for a receiver. Tosses it right. And he makes the grab. Nine yard game. They are inside the five. Set. Cut. Drops back. Tossing it to the middle. And it's caught. Drew Bledsoe made a perfect pass to the receiver in the end zone. That was a great pass by the quarterback. He delivered that ball where only his receiver could make the catch. And so once again, a touchdown pass. The point after is good. Hollis is just about ready to kick this one away. He kicks it off. The defense were able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. They need a big play here if they want to have any shot at scoring before the half. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 22. Man in motion. 
He hands it off. Noonan makes the play at the 24-yard line. This guy might have a strong arm, but I don't think we'll be seeing any type of Hail Mary. A simple run should get us to halftime. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. Buffalo, 28. Detroit, 10. And we go back to the game. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. Hollis is back and ready to put this one in the air. He sends it off. The returner feels it cleanly and is looking to give them good field position. The Lions have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 25-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 25. with the throw and this pass is completed that was flawless execution that one was all about timing the quarterback let it go and the receiver looked back just at the right time so they have first and ten here at the 48-yard line. He was there again for the fifth time. Ball <laughs> right around midfield. Sends the pass away. Despite good coverage, he forces the ball in there. This guy's got to buckle down and make some better reads out there. Second and ten. With two extra defensive backs, the defense is in the dime. Quick drop. Gets the pass off. Nice reception. The receiver did a good job bringing that pass in. You can't have a great catch without a pretty good pass. And they had both on that play. Third and six. Ball on the 48-yard line. to make any adjustments to come up with that pass. A few more like that, this guy's going to be in the All-Madden team. <laughs> so they're almost within their kicker's range. Ball on the 41-yard line. And this is the sixth play of this drive. Quick drop. He goes to the left side. Breaks free. Tillman pulls him down at the 33-yard line. Inside enemy territory. Watch, watch, watch. 
three. They'll make that four wide receiver. And they're able to connect on that one. Harrington went over 100 yards passing on that play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Only one man back. Dropping back. Steps up into the pocket. Fletcher did a great job getting to the quarterback on that play. It's his first set. That's just hustle right there. He had him in his sights, and he wasn't going to be stopped until he got to the quarterback. They're in field goal range. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Dropping back. Harrington looking for something on the right. They're in field goal range. Dimebacks in for this play. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. And he hits his targets. A display of good concentration by the receiver. If he can make catches like that regularly, he can expect to see more passes thrown in his direction. First and goal. Looking to turn it upfield. And the defender brings him down at the eight-yard line. Not much on that play. Yeah, you talk about a defensive line winning the battle, and this is what you mean. The running back gets to the line, and there's nowhere to go after that. So it's second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. Staley, the deep man, dropping back, looking for a receiver. Schrader couldn't make the catch. So the pass ball is incomplete in the end zone. Third and goal. Eight yards to the goal line. 13th play of this drive. Drops back. He surveys the field. Harrington throws. Man, he can't keep both feet up. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is. Where the defenders are. And where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Hanson will come in looking to try the field goal. Way. The kick sails through. It's good. So they ran more than 10 plays on that drive, yet they just couldn't keep it going. And because of that, the drive ends with three points instead of six. Each play you run on offense tires out the defense a little more. When you can put together that many plays in a row, it gets you into scoring position. This time, it got them three. Rodgers is looking to pick up some blocking. The Bills will start the drive from the 32. It's first and ten. Number 38 gets the call. Claiborne was in on the play again for another tip on the statue. He keeps pounding away in the ground and closes in on 100 yards. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Bledsoe sees something in the defense. Looking to run it here. Breaks free of the defender. 
You love a back who can contribute consistent positive yardage like this. A little over four to go. Molds in motion. Dropping back. Throwing left. Number 38, the intended receiver. He didn't give him a chance on that one. He was in a great position to make that play. Fourth and four. Ball on their own 38. Number eight is looking for a good punt here. Fair will be looking for some good blocking on the run back. Missed tackle. The offense ready to go again after their last possession resulted in a field goal. So they have first and ten here. Harrington with a man in motion. They'll go with a pass. Gets the pass off. Nice completion. Fletcher records the tackle at the 31. He laid a good hit on him there and recorded his eighth tackle of the game. Inside enemy territory. They'll go with a pass. Passing to his left. And he fails to hang on to that Schrader drops it. Well, the quarterback did his job, and he delivered the ball right to him. He's going to have some explaining to do in the huddle. It's illegal to throw objects onto the field. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Aaron gives the ball off. Looks for a seam in the middle, but there's nothing there. The defense had great penetration. They were right there to cover their gap assignment. And they find themselves in scoring range. The Lions using motion, dropping back, looking for a receiver. He goes to the left side. He saw the coverage, but he thought his man had good position. I'm no quarterback, but even I saw that he was covered. Hanson leads the field goal team into the game for the attack. This one will need to be perfect. Through the uprights and good. So the drive ends not with a touchdown, but with a field goal. And the coaches, while no doubt happy for the three, will have to take a look at how to push it down the field all the way the next time for a touchdown. They couldn't get that final push through the red zone, but their kicker came out and made sure they got at least some points in the board. The kick returner heads upfield. The defense shut down the offense the last time they had the ball. It's first and ten. They'll go from the I formation. Centers. Moves in motion. Receives the toss. Running right. Green. Was in on the play again for another tick on the stat sheet. He keeps pounding away in the ground. And he closes in on 100 yards. The key here is to step up in the pocket. Make sure you get those feet set before you throw. Get some time in the pocket and be patient with it. Don't force it into cover. Five yards to go. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Buffalo Bills ahead of the Detroit Lions. 28, 16. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Second and five. Ball on their own 35. 
Center in motion. He's looking upfield. Nice move. Breaks free. And he's done at the 40. Pick up of about five. One yard to go. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. Bledsoe hands it off. Breaks free. Harris with the stop at the 45. Center spots room up the middle and gets the first. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. So we have first and ten here. The backs are lined up in an eye. Looking downfield. Passing to the middle of the field. Bledsoe looked a little uncomfortable in the pocket there. It was an easy pass. How the heck did he miss it? Right, so it's second and ten. Ball on their own 45. Calling an audible now. They'll go with a pass. Looking for a receiver. Tosses it right. And the catch is made. Six yard game. A little over four to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Nickelback in this time. Cut. Quick drop. Steps up into the pocket. Looking for a receiver in the middle. Missed tackle. Number 35. Stop him for his third tackle so far. Looking to pass. Bledsoe with the throw. He finds his man. Light makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. He makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. It's second down and five to go. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Looking for an opening. Searching for a seam. Flips the tackle. And he's brought down at the 22. So he's picked up some good yardage and a first down on that run. When you can be effective like that running to the outside, it kind of spreads the defense out a little. And when they do that, then you can come back and run to the inside. So they have first and ten here. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. Just about a three-yard game. Second and seven coming up here. Set. Using motion. Cut. Back to pass. He surveys the field with the pass. Moles can't come up with it on that attack. The quarterback was feeling the pressure on that play. He's lucky he got rid of the ball. I'll tell you, he was definitely going to take a sack. Inside the red zone. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Looking to throw. Surveying the field. Passes left. Green makes a great play by breaking that pass up. The receiver just didn't have good position on him.
Hollis will come in looking to try the field goal. The kick is up. And so that kick is good. A number of plays run on that drive, and it was enough to get them close enough for a field goal. What they want to do now is to realize they've established some things on offense and to approve upon them the next drive to get a TD rather than a field goal. He gets the kick away. He's looking for a chance for a good return. On their last position, they came away with a field goal. Let's see what happens this time around. First and ten. Ball on their own 24. Dropping back. Looking for a receiver. Throws it. And he goes out of bounds. At the 28. Five yard game. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Drops back. Harry throws it over to his right. Number 29 stops him at the 40. The receiver found a hole in the secondary, and the quarterback found him with the pass. The defense could never let up out there. This guy could make some incredible catches. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 40. With the throw, gets his hand on it, heads up to the and knock it down. Great position and great reaction made that play happen. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Harrington sets up. Drops back. Gets the pass off. Anderson was the intended target. Harrington fires a bullet, but nobody comes up with it. A little less arm in the ball could have helped. So they dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. Dropping back, rolls right, passing to his right. And this pass is complete. Clements makes the tackle, and so that's number six. Great reception on that play, John. Looks like someone might have blown their coverage on that one. First and ten. Goes over the pass. With the throw. Hits the target with the pass. Anderson is there for the catch, his first of the game. It's first and goal. Two minute warning coming up. He's going to throw. Surveying the field. The defender's got it. He's to the 20. Aaron shouldn't have thrown that ball. I don't know what this quarterback was thinking on that one. This guy never had any separation between he and the defender. With an extra DB, the defense is in the nickel. Using motion. He tucks it away. And he's brought down at the 31-yard line. Number 38 was stopped before he could go anywhere. Yeah, because those big old defensive linemen pushed those big old offensive linemen backwards. <laughs> Two minutes to go. Feed this one to the fullback. Just have him power it through. It's second down and 10 to go. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. 
Bledsoe sends a man to mark. Doing good moves. Claiborne makes the tackle, and so that's number six. Committing to the running game will add effectiveness to your passing attack. When the defense is looking pass, you run. When the defense is looking run, you go downfield. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. Ball on their own 33. The quarterback lines up with two options behind him. With the toss. On the run. Breaks free. Green makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Thank you running there, and they pick up a first down. A few more runs like that, and this defense is going to get an earful from the coach. Right, so they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 46. Bledsoe gets it. Number 38 looking for room. Breaks free. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 45. The offensive line is totally dominated. And the back has great vision today. They've almost got this game won. But they still need to run it to make the defense use their timeout. Yard to go. Set. You can't wrap him up. Nice move. Light makes the tackle at the 42 yard line. Now's not a good time to rub it in. Right Just down. It's first and ten. Set. Bledsoe gets set. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. was the intended target. Bledsoe overthrows his target. There was no way he was going to get to that one. Now's not a good right. time to rub it in. Just down. So they're almost within their kicker's range. Nickelback in this time. If they punt here, they just want to be careful not to outkick the coverage and let him get a good return. This game reaches its score, conclusion Detroit, with the final 16, score, Detroit, Buffalo 31. 31, Detroit 16. On behalf of EA Sports, John Madden and Melissa Stark, this is Al Michaels saying goodbye and inviting you to join us in our next presentation of Madden NFL 2003.